What's up witches? This is 90 Hermit and while I'm waiting to go to that to my work uh, Christmas party I decided to record a video about the Montreal Jam, Jam Show so it was a show where a bunch of people sell rocks, crystals, minerals, fossils and stuff like that it happens once a year in Montreal and it's specifically for this type of stuff so um, it lasts three days, Friday night, Saturday and Sunday, and it's very popular and packed. It's at Place Bonav Bonaventure, at the Metro Bonaventure, and I'm gonna show you what kind of stuff I got. So, first I, I try to get the crystals that are um, rare or that I cannot find everywhere in the usual crystal stores all right so when I go to places like that I really try to look for um, stuff that I that I don't see everywhere let's start with this I bought some um, fairy quartz or spirit quartz small pieces and you see it's very very shiny uh, 15, 15 Canadian dollars for this piece. I bought three of them and I'm planning to actually <coughs> share some pieces and send them as a gift to some people. $8 for this one, 10 bucks for this one, Canadian dollars, so less than US. And the gem, the best piece ever. I'm gonna need some scissors, it's far away. The best, best thing that I bought is a big piece. Oh my, so this is Spirit Quartz from South Africa, 90 bucks Canadian dollars. As you can see, a big piece that you can put near your tarot cards to charge them. And Fairy or Spirit Quartz, it's uh, the same name for this stone. It's good for your aura and it's very um, sort of like fairy type, magical fairy stuff, very positive and just uh, almost, you look at the stone and it's like, uh, it's magical and it reminds you of some fairy tales uh, uh, or making wishes and wishes coming true, you know? All right, next one. So this also, very rare. Here are all the cards. Let's start by this one. This is from Joaya. Let's start with this. Cavansite. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly. Very rare. Blue. It might be toxic. I don't know. I'm gonna have to research it. It's maybe not good to touch it with your with your bare hands. You know, some crystals are toxic. Like malachite, you need to wash your hands. This one, I'm not sure. It looks like it looks like it might be. So I'm gonna have to research that. It's from India, and here it says it's good for sinus, ears, throat, astral astral travel. It was twenty bucks. Uh, next one. Two. Um, two crystals I bought two quantities that I don't have yet I have similar ones but not this one so this is uh, how do you call it Hulk's eye I'm gonna spell that for you because I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it well it has like a it looks like a tiger eye a bit but there's some blue inside and it's not exactly a blue tiger eye it's like kind of like a mix of tiger eye and blue tiger eye. So I bought two of them. It was, I think, 15 each. And then I bought also seraphinite. Small ones for my collection. And seraphinite, it has like almost like some angel wings on it. It looks like a... See if you look like that, it looks like wings. So this was from this Joe Aya. So the Hawks Eye, Eau de Faucon. 
It was from South Africa and it says it eliminates doubts, observation, understanding. Here's their card. They're actually, doesn't say where they are located. They have an Etsy store. I'm going to put a link, Elizabeth and Patrick. So now there's also some cards in 2020. There's going to be another Salon des Pierres Minéraux et Fossiles. So like um, another gem show at, in Montreal, the 24th, 25th, 26th of April, 2020. Well, actually, I'm going to be at the Reader Studio at that time in New York. So, but I'll also put the link for people in Montreal who like that stuff. And there's some club of uh, asbestos. Uh, there's a mine there or something in Quebec. All right, let's go to the next one. I don't even remember what this is. What is this? Oh, yes, this is from my favorite store from Ottawa. Probably my favorite store so far uh, in Canada. Kulu Trading, Masala and Jade. That's three stores. And they have the same owner. This is Bumblebee Jasper. Not that easy to find Bumblebee Jasper. It depends where you go. Look how bright this this orange is. It's crazy. So this was 40 bucks. And I have one. Now I bought two more. Lithium quartz. You know lithium? It's like a medication that's used for bipolar or something like that. Well, basically lithium quartz, what the metaphysical books they claim is that it helps to alleviate your bad mood and depressive symptoms, blah, blah. Uh, not promoting it for health issues for sure but that's what i read about it so this stone i like um sometimes i just fall asleep with it and i like it because it just brings a peaceful vibe next one. Oh, this is gonna be good this is this is from Green Granville Minerals in Kingston, Ontario. Tiger's Eye Gemstone, South Africa, 20 bucks. Look at this piece. And this is perfectly shaped to put it on your tarot cards, like for real. Next one. This is a good store. I remember them. I think they were in Ottawa a while ago. This is Molkite, Molkite Jasper from Australia. I think it was five dollars or four dollars, I'm not even sure. Now, let's see the last one. This bag. Seraphonite, a bigger piece from Siberia, Russia. There's also another stone from Russia. I didn't get it yet. I have a little pieces. Actually, I might have it here. You know the um, Sharawite? Where is it? Oh, I don't have it. Okay, never mind. So, Sharawite is also from, from Russia and from the Siberia region. And apparently, I had somebody who told me who lives there that you just walk around and you can find a bunch of them like on the ground. So this is a seraphonite for 45. Look how nice this is. You see the wings on that piece. It's just amazing. Now, my last and not the least, the biggest, the biggest purchase is from this uh, company that just has probably the best unbeatable prices, like the Nest Guy Minerals and Fossils. They just always have the best prices. Like I was in Ottawa, I bought so much stuff from them. I bought my huge geode that is cut in two. They have two pieces at home. I bought it from them for like, I don't know, for a really low price, like 65, 40, I don't even remember. This is Ruby from India. So it's a raw Ruby, it's not like, a, it's not gemstone quality but I love Ruby. It's my my stone, my monthly stone for July for my birthday. Next one, also from the same 
hematite. I have two pieces, I bought more. It's the, um, the raw version of hematite. Look how nice this is. It's not the one that's magnetical. It's not the one that like sticks together, it's just the raw hematite. Next one. Ooh, this stuff so hard to find and six dollars six canadian dollars do you believe that apophyllite like it's so expensive sometimes you see and the price is like crazy for apophyllite and here's a piece for six dollars can you believe that it's unbelievable so these guys always have the best price ever like for sure Apophyllite actually is a stone that, that is used a lot in Reiki to transfer energy to people and like as a healing stone for Reiki masters. Next one, of course, I cannot, I couldn't pass by by another selenite tower. <laughs> uh, I think it was $5. $5 for a selenite tower? Come on. It's a, how can you not buy it, right? The next one, the largest piece, and the no, it's not the last one. The last one is this. I don't even know what the hell. It's, oh, I know what this is. Okay, so this is, and you know it's winter. It's in Canada. It's very depressing. And it's all gray, and we need some sun. And look at this giant piece. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks for this piece. This is um, orange calcite. Calcite actually, you shouldn't. You shouldn't put it in water, it might dissolve, so you'll have to clean it, cleanse it, not in water, you cleanse it. Uh, I, I actually cl cleanse my crystals in rice, in brown organic rice, because I, I studied with Krista Mitchell and she recommends that. And then I put them on a selenite stick to charge. So now I bought a bunch of rice to cleanse my crystals and that way it doesn't destroy crystals that are, are sensitive to water. And this is just like a giant piece of sun. It just has the sunny vibes and it's needed in this gray cold winter that we're having here in Canada. The last one that I bought, five bucks, Shiva Lingam from India. Crypto crystalline quartz with iron oxide for Narmada River India, also from the same, the Gnesgai Minerals and Fossils, $5. Look at this, quite big as a piece. And this is good for intuition. This is a, um, a spiritual stone in India. All right, guys. So um, the salon happens every year and I encourage you to attend it. If you have any questions, let me know. As you can see, I went cra crazy um, for me shopping and uh, you know that I love and collect crystals and tarot and oracles and uh, yeah <laughs> okay so talk to you later bye